Lionsgate dropped their first official trailer for Saw X featuring the return of Tobin Bell. I'm going to take a look at this one next. <laughs> Nation, it's the outlaw John Roca here on a hot Saturday evening. I was just chilling out here, having both fans on my body. When all of a sudden, I got the notification on my phone that there was a new trailer, a first official trailer for Saw X or Saw Ten. This uh, debuted apparently from Lionsgate earlier today at the Midsummer Screen Festival, uh, and it is the tenth installment in the franchise. And of course, they already announced that Tobin Bell is coming back to play a Jigsaw. And, um, and we got the Spiral one that came out with Chris Rock. Wasn't the greatest. Wasn't was okay. Okay, it wasn't that good. I got to be honest with you. It wasn't that good. You didn't feel the same kind of magic as you'd seen in some of the best of the Saw films. Right now, we have Talk To Me out there uh, in uh, in theaters for you horror fans. And I've got a, a uh, out-of-theater reaction coming up later on uh, today on the channel as well. This one just kind of popped up out of the blue, so I thought I'd do a trailer reaction to it and see what we're going to get. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into this uh, trailer here uh, for Saw X or Saw 10, uh, however you want to call it. Let's go. Out of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? John! The cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is oh, wow. one person. Wait, is that the dude from CSI help. Miami? Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. The results have been stunning. She saved my life. Oh, we got Latinos up in this. Okay, all right. I like it. You're in very good hands with us. <laughs> After yeah, that, what happens then? Your whole life happens then. John Kramer. Oh, they brought him back to life. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. Oh, how much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to oh be done. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! People in the ward. Oh no! Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. You all pretended to cure me. Oh. But what I have planned for wow. each of you is very real. Oh. Came upon me. No light. No sound. Oh, oh my God. Not provided. Oh, oh my God. But trust me. Fuck this. Oh, there he you is. You want to remain alert. Wait. Oh. All the men to cheat. You picked John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. Oh. Place a big enough piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sweet. <laughs> oh. This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. Live or die. The choice is yours. Oh, that was Michael Beach, I think. Nice. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Johnny Smith. Of course, of course. Oh, there's a, uh, uh, I guess a number you can dial for this one. Wow. I mean, these Saw films always mess me up whenever I watch them. So, I mean, just the idea of being able, uh, being trapped in a situation where you have to dismember yourself or disfigure yourself to get out of it. And it's, of course, a physical representation or manifestation of some of the things that we do in our own lives, um, whether we're cutting off certain feelings we have about certain things just so we can make a living, just so we can pay our bills, or we keep our mouths shut about certain things so we cut off our ability to stand up for something because we've got to you know, pay, uh, you know, provide for our families and whatever. So these little um, deals that we make with ourselves as we cut off pieces of ourselves in our interactions in life. I always felt that Saw was kind of a mirror of that. 
Hey, of course, and its surface, it's uh, uh, definitely torture, horror there, and it's um, unsettling and creepy and maybe a little bit uh, exciting for people who have a little sadism within them to see uh, what people are willing to do to themselves. But here you've got the idea uh, that uh, uh, Jigsaw here has not gotten his, um, uh, his cancer dealt with, so he's taking his anger out on the hospital staff there. And look, that's something also that's very... Uh, prevalent in our society today. A lot of people having issues with, with the healthcare system, with some with misdiagnosis, with people not being di- diagnosed correctly and dying, loved ones having being diagnosed incorrectly and dying, people being misdiagnosed and given the wrong medicine affecting their lives. So there's that anger towards the healthcare system that I think a lot of people have nowadays and the skyrocketing costs. People go into debt, go bankrupt, uh, paying off uh, their medical debt. So playing into that a little bit as well here. And of course the return of Shawnee Smith at the end. So why not? Why not? Everybody else is coming back in all the horror franchises. So why not Tobin Bell and Shawnee Smith? So, I mean, just uh, exciting stuff here. I liked it. I liked the visual. This is, this looks so much better than spiral did. This looks like, like they're going back to the best of the original uh, saw films. Uh, some of the best installments, I like the, the moodiness of it all, the darkness. It's a smaller story being told. There's not a lot of people that are being tortured here, but there's a, clearly there must be a little bit of a large, your story with all the uh, people in the hoods and the van and some people being hung up and and whatever or being hung there and whatever so there's a lot here that there's a bigger story to tell other than just them misdiagnosing uh his cancer so i i'm, I'm curious to see uh what we're going to get in it yeah, in the studio had a statement they said they uh they affirmed that saw x will saw 10 will capture fans hearts and other body parts with all new twisted ingenious traps and a new mystery to solve. And this one also stars Michael Beach, Renata Vaca, Paulette Hernandez, uh, Sinov Makoti, Stephen Brand, uh, Joshua Okamoto as well. So, yeah. So, this looks cool. What would you guys think? Did you like it? Did it feel like they were going back to capture the spirit of the best of the Saw films? Uh, or did this one feel like another uh, paint-by-numbers kind of horror film, a tenth installment in a franchise, so that maybe it's kind of run out of gas? Let me know down in the comments section below. Hit a like on this video. Share it on your social media. And y'all know more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. As I said, don't forget, later on tonight, I'll be dropping my Just Out of the Theater reaction for Talk to Me. That one effed me up. Maybe this one will too. It's coming out here on September 27th, uh, later on this year. So look for that as well. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. Be well. And I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation.